Hey everybody, it's me Autumn again. Welcome back for my part two tutorial on bath bombs for beginners. I'm really sorry it took me so long to get this up, but my daughter got strep throat and the flu and her fever got incredibly high several times and we had to go to the ER twice. And uh, so it was just really hectic here and then I spent the time after she recovered uh, getting caught up in orders so it took me a really long time to get to this point to film again but um, life happened so I apologize but anyway as I said this is our part two tutorial on bath bombs for beginners and what we're going to be discussing today is going to be um, common bath bomb ingredients and what they're used for it's like you can find bath bomb recipes anywhere or you can purchase them um, but you may see ingredients and you're like, okay, that sounds cool, let me go get that, but may not really know why you're using it. So that's kind of what we're gonna talk about today. And as a matter of fact, like, I think it would just be easier instead of me sitting here rambling on for 20 minutes about each ingredient and what they do, I'm just gonna link it all below and you guys can go through at your convenience and I will have it split up um, into dry ingredients and wet ingredients. Um, so if there's something that's really important that you think that I forgot, just comment below and I will make sure to amend it to uh, the description. Really got a lot of great feedback on the first part, so I hope the second part is just as helpful. Um, and then I'm going to film part three probably today and then I'll try and get that uploaded as fast as I can. Again, everything's going to be listed down below, so thank you guys again so much for watching and I'm so glad that this uh, tutorial is really helping you guys. So anyway, thank you. See you for part three.